China, a nation experiencing unparalleled population growth, finds itself in dire need of massive megaprojects to accommodate this unprecedented expansion. Unparalleled in their scale, the country has constructed an impressive array of highways, dams, and bridges, transforming its landscape like never seen before. Today, we embark on a journey to delve into China's most significant megaprojects, which have profoundly reshaped the nation. Number 4. The Beipanjiang Bridge Coming in at number 4 is the Beipanjiang Bridge, standing as the world's highest bridge. Spanning across the Beipanjiang Grand Valley, it boasts a staggering 565-meter vertical drop, dwarfing the Golden Gate in San Francisco, which reaches a mere 67 meters in comparison. To illustrate its remarkable height, one could fit the entire New York One World Trade Center beneath this bridge. The Beipanjiang Bridge serves as a vital link connecting the mountainous provinces of Xuanwei in Yunnan and Shuicheng in Guizhou, significantly reducing the travel time from a four-hour journey to less than one. Beyond its practicality, the bridge offers awe-inspiring scenic views, often veiled by clouds and mist due to its lofty elevation. Being a highly mountainous region, Guizhou Province requires massive connecting bridges like the Beipanjiang Bridge. Interestingly, three of the world's top five highest bridges are located in this province, and all five of them are in China. However, constructing a bridge on a mountainside poses challenges. Architects had to continually elevate the bridge's final location to avoid caves and fissures in the karst mountains on both sides of the valley. It's essential to note that while the Beipanjiang Bridge claims the title of the world's highest bridge, it is not the tallest. That distinction belongs to the Milau Viaduct in France, reaching a height of 343 meters. The distinction lies in the fact that the tallest bridge refers to the one with the highest structure, whereas the highest bridge is ranked based on its deck height. Besides constructing bridges over rivers and mountains, China is also actively involved in building massive underwater tunnels. Number 3. China's Underwater Tunnel Lake Taihu, ranked as China's third-largest freshwater lake and a renowned tourist attraction, prompted a different approach to preserving its scenic beauty when improving transportation. Instead of constructing a bridge that could disrupt the landscape, China opted for an innovative solution by building an underground tunnel. Stretching nearly 11 kilometers, the Taihu Tunnel now stands as one of the world's longest highway tunnels. Situated in Jiangsu Province in eastern China, the Taihu Tunnel effectively connects the motorways of Changzhou, Suzhou, and Wuxi, aiming to alleviate traffic congestion between Shanghai and Nanjing. Unlike the Beipanjiang Bridge, which faced weather-related concerns, the underground tunnel eliminates such worries. However, drivers traveling along such an extended straight road might encounter the challenge of maintaining concentration. To counter this, the road features thousands of LED lights to provide visual stimulation throughout the entire journey. The construction of underground tunnels can be approached in various ways. For the Taihu Tunnel, coffer dams were employed to drain the water from the desired building area, effectively creating a dry, lakebed-like site for the project. This method ensured that the natural beauty of Lake Taihu remained protected, with ventilation shafts strategically designed to blend in with the surroundings. Some shafts are cleverly disguised as a small island, a conch-shaped statue, and an ancient boat, preserving the lake's visual appeal. While the Taihu Tunnel boasts an impressive 11 km length, it falls short of being the longest road tunnel globally, with the top spot held by Norway's Lerdal Tunnel, However, China is contemplating surpassing this record with an ambitious proposal for a 90 kilometers long railway tunnel connecting Yantai and Dalian. This plan is part of China's ongoing transformation in high-speed rail, showcasing its commitment to advancing transportation infrastructure. Number 2. China's Massive High-Speed Rail Network In October 2010, China achieved a groundbreaking milestone with the world's fastest bullet train, completing the 200-kilometer journey between Hangzhou and Shanghai in less than 45 minutes, showcasing its remarkable high-speed rail technology. Just two years later, in 2012, China further impressed the world by inaugurating the longest high-speed railway line, connecting Beijing and Guangzhou, 
cutting down the travel time of a 24-hour journey to a mere eight hours, one-third of the original duration. China's discrete revolution in high-speed rail is evident through the completion of an impressive 38,000 kilometers of rail since 2008, a railway network nearly circumnavigating the entire globe, approximately 40,000 kilometers long. With an unwavering ambition to establish connectivity across the entire country, China has built railway tracks in challenging terrains like the Gobi Desert and the ice city of Harbin. Remarkably, they have even prepared railway lines for cities that are yet to be built, exemplified by the beijing Xiongan Intercity Railway, designed to provide access to the anticipated Xiongan New Area, scheduled for development in 2035, mirroring the strategies of European colonizers in North America who laid railway tracks for planned towns and cities. Despite some competition in the fastest bullet train category, with Japan's 602 km per H train, China remains unrivaled when considering the sheer size and scale of its high-speed rail network. Beyond terrestrial accomplishments, China has ventured into the space race, steadily achieving milestones comparable to those set by the USA and Russia, asserting itself in the realm of space exploration, marking yet another remarkable mega-project in its journey of progress and innovation. Number 1. The Biggest Radio Telescope in the World in 1994, Nan Rendong, one of China's most renowned astronomers, envisioned China having its radio telescope comparable to the U.S. Arecibo Telescope in Puerto Rico. Back then, the largest telescopes in China were merely 25 meters in size, but Rendong dreamt of something grander, 20 times larger. Over the next decade, Rendong and his team searched for a suitable location in southwest China to construct the new radio telescope. Eventually, they discovered the Daodang Depression in Pingtang, a bowl-shaped valley that could support the telescope's weight and allow proper drainage. The construction of the radio telescope began in 2016, more than two decades after the initial design proposal. It now stands as the world's largest telescope, boasting a diameter of 500 meters and equipped with over 4,000 aluminum panels, each capable of individual movement to focus on radio waves from space. To ensure minimal interference, the telescope was situated in a remote, mountainous region without nearby towns. However, the project faced controversy, as villagers living in the vicinity needed to be compensated with either cash or new housing, a relocation cost that ironically exceeded the budget for the telescope itself at around $230 million. The telescope's primary use is to investigate fast radio bursts FRBs, mysterious energy flashes that occur within milliseconds, surpassing the sun's energy output for an entire year. China aims to unravel the mystery behind these FRBs. Since its construction, the telescope has made significant discoveries, including the detection of thousands of pulsars and the study of incredibly detailed maps of incoming radio signals processed by a cluster of powerful computers receiving 38 billion samples every second. Some experts speculate that these signals could be evidence of advanced alien life. Tragically, Nan Rendong was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2016, but despite his illness, he made a journey of 2,000 kilometers from Beijing to Guizhou in September of that year to witness 22 years of hard work and research finally coming to fruition. Unfortunately, he passed away a year later, but his legacy endures through the incredible achievements of the telescope he envisioned and helped bring to life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. See you next time.